Direct from the Vegas Voice Television Studio, it's the Vegas Voice Scams, Schemes, and Senior Safety. Everything you need to know to avoid becoming a target of elder scams. Now, here's your host, the publisher of the Vegas Voice, Dan Roberts. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Vegas Voice segment of Scam, Schemes, and Senior Safety. I'm Dan Roberts, and our goal is to inform you of all the bad stuff that surrounds our lives when we answer the telephone or reply to emails. As if the recent coronavirus is not bad enough, authorities are now reporting an increase in the infamous Social Security scam. The Social Security scam usually occurs with a phone call. The caller states that he is from the Social Security Administration and tells you one of the following. One, there is a warrant for your arrest due to your Social Security payments. And unless you take immediate action to fix the problem, federal marshals will be coming to your house to arrest you. Or they tell you that your Social Security number has been suspended or hacked. Or there is a problem with your Social Security number and they need to verify your personal information. Now, I have no doubt that these statements from a so-called government official can scare the bejesus out of you. Scammers recognize this too, and hope they can get you to answer their question with, what can I do to stop this? Let's start with our number one senior scam rule. Never, never, never give out personal information on your phone. That includes your date of birth, Medicare number, and most importantly, your Social Security number. Did you know that Social Security or any government agency will never ask you for this confidential information by phone, text, or by email? Never. And if the caller states that you must make a payment now, you just need to think. Do you really believe that Social Security or any government agency will demand immediate payment via Western Union? or by purchasing a gift card? Come on! So what should you do when you get that call? The answer is simple. Hang up the phone, hang up the phone, and... Hang up the phone. I do have one suggestion. If you have any questions or concerns, contact me. Just email me at the address listed below. We'll have more scams in future segments. Until then, this is Dan Roberts, hoping that everyone stays safe, be smart, and to always slam those scams.